So before we move on to factoring, um, we're going to spend a few more minutes on expanding. There's our last example from the previous video. Um, we're going to look at some basic formulas. And in particular, what we're going to look at is the so-called binomial formula. All right. So there are a few instances of the binomial formula that you're probably familiar with. Okay. Uh, in general, the binomial formula has to do with expanding powers that look like, say, x plus a, okay? where n is a positive integer. So we know what this looks like for the first few powers of n, right? Well, if n is equal to 1, you don't have to do anything, right? First power just leaves it alone. But x plus a, if you're squaring, right? Well, remember that that's x plus a times x plus a. And so if you want, use FOIL. Use the general distributive property, however you want to think about this. x times x gives me x squared. Then you'll notice that you're going to get an x times a and another x times a. So there's an ax plus ax. So that's 2ax. And then finally, a squared. Okay. Now, of course, maybe one of the, the basic lessons that you take away from, from this expansion formula when you're squaring a binomial is that you're not simply squaring the first and last terms, right? There's a cross term, right? Square means multiply by itself, but it doesn't mean multiply the two terms inside the bracket by itself. It means multiply the whole bracket by itself, right? Again, this comes back to an order of operations issue. Uh, so what if we wanted to cube, all right? Well, cubing means multiply by itself three times, all right? And <clears throat> just as we saw over here, when you have three or more things that you want to multiply, you can choose to group. So we'll make group like that, for example. And inside the brackets, we've got x plus a squared which we've just done. So no need to redo it. Let's just copy down our answer from above. x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. And now we multiply through, right? x times x squared, x cubed, x times 2ax, 2ax squared, x times a squared a squared x, a times x squared, a times 2ax, so that's 2a squared times x, a times a squared gives you a cubed. And then you want to group like terms, right? There are two degree two terms. There are two degree one terms, so you want to put those together. x cubed plus 3ax squared, because there's two there, one more there. And then 2a squared plus another a squared plus 3a squared x plus a cubed. There's your formula for the cube of a binomial. So that means, if you happen to remember this formula, that means that you can now quickly work out something like, say somebody says, I need to know what is x minus 2 cubed. And you say, ah, oh, well, I know what it is. It's x cubed minus, well, let's say this, plus 3 times minus 2 times x squared, 3a, a is minus 2, right, plus 3 times minus 2 squared times x 
plus minus 2 cubed. And you want to simplify? So what do we have? We have x cubed minus 6x squared plus, so squaring minus 2 gets rid of the negative. That's 4 times 3, 12x minus 8, all right? So if you know the formula, you can get the answer much faster than doing x minus 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 2. Uh, once again, notice it's not just x cubed minus 8, right? It's more complicated. Um, so if you happen to know the formula, you can, you can expand these things pretty quickly. It'll save you some time. Uh, on the other hand, it means you've got to memorize the formula. So you've got to decide, right? There's some give and take. There's some trade-off. Um, in general, there's a theorem. And it says that for, for any value of n, right? so for 1, 2, 3, 4, for any natural number, if I wanted to do x plus a to the n, it always looks like x to the n plus n times a times x to the n minus 1 plus n choose 2. These are binomial coefficients. I'll remind you about those in a second if you've forgotten what they are. a squared x to the n minus 2. So at each step, the power for x goes down by 1, the power for a goes up by 1, and so on down to, so the last term is going to be n a to the n minus 1 times x, and then a to the n. Um, some people like to remember this if you're comfortable with summation formula, summation notation. You can write this as the sum, k going from 0 to n, n choose k, x to the n minus k, a to the k. That's how some people will remember it. Um, these binomial coefficients, you might have seen them in a, in a sort of a basic um, probability or stats course or something in high school. Um, this looks like n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. Um, what that looks like if you expand it all out is on the bottom, you're going to have well, 1 times 2, and so on, up to k. And on the bottom, you're going to have n minus k plus 1 times n minus k plus 2, all the way up to n. Okay. You can write it out like that. Um, remember, this factorial notation just means it's the product of all the numbers up to whatever that value is, right? So 4 factorial, for example, is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. Um, so if you get the hang of using these binomial coefficients, and if you remember this formula, you can very quickly expand powers of binomials without having to work everything out, right? Um, it's not a formula you're going to need all the time, but it's going to come up from time to time. And if you've got this in your back pocket, it's going to save you some trouble.